Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we are going to see that how the Selenium WebDriver program can be converted to JUnit program. Suppose you, it is possible that you may have one program that is run in a Selenium driver and that is being coded and void main method and you want to convert it to JUnit. So these are the steps. First of all, your Selenium program is already written in void main method. So you need to divide all this method, all this code into three objects, three parts. That is one initialization part where you are initializing web driver, one testing part where actually you are executing the test case, that code and last the releasing object part. So you need to divide your code into three sections. After this uh, divide, division, you need to transfer the code to the appropriate method that is before method, test method and after method and then run the program you will be having one option of running the program with JUnit which actually first did not appear at all and you can run this program as JUnit test case. Now we will see practically that how actually it is going to be done. Let us see if you have already created one selenium program to test some applications and you have already written some test cases in one file and you want to convert it into JUnit, how it is going to be done. So over here I am having one sample program that is opening the tutorials point website in Chrome driver. It means it is opening Chrome browser and it is opening tutorials point website. It is verifying whether the title contents text and video as well as it is verifying whether the search heading contains this text or not whether the search heading is equal to this text or not so for that we have written code you know you are doing right click on this application and you are going to click on run as it will be providing you one option that is java application it means it is not been modified for j unit test case execution no doubt it will be giving you all the things perfectly that your driver will be launched and all the test case will be done but you will not have an idea that whether it is proper or not and if there are two test cases where you are having error or failure so let us convert into j unit so first you need to divide it into three parts so the very first part is initialization part so in initialization actually we need to open the driver and we need to open the website so this code goes to initialization part then after initialization you need to type test cases so whatever you are executing you need to define those test cases so over here we are verifying title of your website so this is the test case one and again you are verifying the heading about the search text so this will be your test case two so you are having two test case so you have found that what is the initialization code what are the test cases you are having right now you are having two test cases and after that you need to find that what are the releasing code that what codes need to be write in after class so this is the code where you release the objects now you need to specify all this parts or section into appropriate method so initialization is done in method with at the rate before or at the rate before class annotation so you need to write one method that is at the rate before please keep in mind that this driver object will be used in all methods so you need to define it publicly so it can be used in each and every method so this needs to be skipped this will be in public mode now we need to write public void and the method is setup method you can give any name as per your requirement and 
here the initialization ends so this is the initialization method as it is in it is an initialization method it should have one proper annotation of j unit so we are having one before annotation and we are initializing it using this whenever you are using j unit public static void main will not be there so just remove it so your initialization method has been done properly you need to import org.junit to use this as annotation now after this method you need to write two test cases this test case will be written as test case 1 or verified title so i am creating one method that is public void verify title and I am just combining the code into that method so this is your first test case now as it is a test case you need to write at the test annotation before it please keep in mind that test annotations are case sensitive so you need to verify that now here is your test case 2 so you need to write another method that is public void verify heading as again it is a test case so test annotation should be there you need to specify the opening and closing bracket for that method and now this line is for releasing the object and for that after or after class method is used so with the at the rate after annotation I need to create one more method that is public void tear down again you can give any name to this method it's like we are just now following the standards and you need to import the respective file for the after annotation just save this program please keep in mind when you are changing you should keep in mind that there shouldn't be any error or there shouldn't be any more curly bracket or less curly bracket now we are not having any error in this class now just right click on this file click on run as as you have converted to JUnit annotation you are having this option that run as JUnit test click on that the test case is being run successfully and you are having that both the test cases are passed now you can see that browser open twice why because before method will be executed twice so if you don't want to execute it twice just create this as before class just create after method as after class import the respective files and as you have created before class annotation please keep in mind that before class and after class annotation only can be assigned to static methods and as you are using this static methods the objects which are being used in this method should also be static so it should be static web driver and driver again save the task run the program now the driver will be initialized only once so you will only have one browser and your test case has been passed both the test cases has been passed and this is the way how we can convert the Synelium program into JUnit thank you